God. Anyway, we're working on fixing Gemini as we've seen the anger this has caused online. Of course, you as a consumer can also do your part by voting for Joe Biden this upcoming election. We'll be doing our part by suppressing anything that can hurt his chances, including downranking articles, removing YouTube videos, censoring emails using Gmail, and so much more. Or you can vote for Donald Trump and get four to ten more years of all-female reboots of your favorite movies. The choice is yours. All right, that was Danny Polischuk wrapping up that section on the Google Gemini AI situation and uh what did we learn during that segment we learned that they have people like vosh as the programmers and if you don't know what i mean go to the end of the last episode and check out the horse and around part of that episode uh where we had to cover such things and you've got other things like they're just it, they're adding words to your search to change how you see the world but really it's it's a, it, it shows us the limitation of ai that the artificial intelligence, the intelligence is limited by a function of whoever's programming it. And if they're not too smart, then you're still ahead of the AI and you have a chance to like not make the future into another Terminator trilogy. How many movies are in that series now? It was made as a warning. You guys took it as a business plan. Shame on you. People are disappointing. What'd you learn, Tony? <laughs> I can't say I really learned much. Bar for the course, right? That's sort of to be anticipated. Um, this first came out with ChatGPT in regards to just, you know, language summation and paraphrasing and synopses of, you know, histories or, you know, markets or whatever. And, it, you know, definitely was being filtered through a woke lens. So it's not necessarily surprising. However, um, you know, ChatGPT, I, don't, I forget, you know, uh, it's sort of foundational base, but Google's own AI, you know, Google was the foundation, foundational company, especially when it comes to their employees of creating the most woke culture in corporate America, arguably much more so than even Microsoft. Their, their so let's not forget about like, 2016, you know, what happened when Trump got elected and they had that like big safe space cry fest where they were like literally losing their mind as though the world quite literally had ended. So this sort of false sense of reality and what Trump represents and what the real world is and who they are like they're they're oh man how how do we get to the point where people deny reality so conspicuously and explicitly it's, it's I think really it disturbing starts with me. naming a company after some syllables that a preschooler says <laughs> and then making the logo out of the colored magnets that you put on the fridge again as a preschooler when you're learning how to spell that's their whole comp company motif and then when they had a holding company they're like dude let's call it alphabet will own everything because everything's made of letters. <laughs> I mean, these people are yeah, that's, uh, they're that's interesting. A, that holding company was pretty also cool. Gab AI. Apparently, I've seen images. Uh, doesn't have that problem. They didn't have mm. uh, woke Vosh like programmers over there, <laughs> right. like writing the yeah. rules. And uh, yeah, it's, it's like the bog haired people. Its observations know. on Palestine were interesting and provocative. Not too sure. Like even a broken AI can be right a couple of times per query yeah, or something. Yeah, and, right, right. And that's the problem. People won't analyze what is and isn't true. They'll just lump it all together as being one thing. So therefore, if, if it said one thing untrue, therefore all things are untrue, which is obviously false, but uh, or invalid reasoning, I should say, at the very least. Well, and, in, uh, in clips coming up tonight, we're going to see the 2006 version of ChatGPT. It's exclusive video. I don't, I don't think it's been aired anywhere else. It'll be at the end of tonight's episode because it's a, we have to go back in time to get it. And then uh, this first part, we have identified some potential 10-7 terrorists. And we have them on video. And I think uh, once you see these videos, you're, you understand that narrative is probably going to change. And we might have to go back and retract all the things that we've said for the past four months. So it's going to be pretty interesting. And I think we should start that right now. Let's go to the Associated Press. That is the source of the first two clips in this block. And uh, let's get learnified and fact up. This is 2001. So those kids are now fighting age. The kids that were being chased with tanks because they're throwing rocks, those are now the fighting age men that live there in the prison camp called Gaza.
There are no innocent civilians, as you can see. This is total justification for genocide and ethnic cleansing. The IDF tank seems to be in trouble. Yeah, start shooting back. That's good. Those rocks could really hurt that 150,000 pound war machine. Very dangerous. Somebody could get something in their eye. The AP thought that wasn't enough, so they continue to show you footage in this clip of safe things to do around children. This just when a reminder you... of the spotlighting, because the video keeps going off every yes. time you speak. Yeah. I'm sorry. Here, I'll, I'll do it like this. I'm... Thank you for spotlighting, Tony. No, it's, I just wanted to remind you. It's not right. changing for the... Not for the viewers. For yeah, the not for the viewers. It. Okay, okay. Mission yeah. control. All right, so now there's one more short clip. Now, this is the David versus Goliath moment because the kids in this clip you're going to see are using slings. And you know, in the Bible, there's the story of Goliath and he's the giant and there's David and he's this little dude and he's got the sling with the rock, but he throws it just right and he takes down the giant. Well, these are little giants right here. They got the slings. There's a tank. They're going to they're going to have at it. And these this is 2001 and 2002. So this is the 2002 piece of footage from the Associated Press, because, you know, it all started on 10-7. These young men who are doing this, they probably didn't move out of town, and if they hadn't been killed by now by the IDF, they're probably involved in 10-7, so let's take a close look. Maybe we can identify them with some of that uh, Israeli AI that they use facial recognition. Let's check it out. Well, I think I recognize that guy. I've seen him before. It's like their Second Amendment right there. They got slings. Slings and rubble. All right, so uh, I have seen things like that before, and I think it's like the opening scenes to the movie In the Name of the Father with Daniel Day-Lewis about the English and the Irish popping off in the 70s and the Irish throwing rocks and you know bricks at armored trucks that were the English occupiers because that's also been going on a long time. People fight over religion. It seems that's part of human history. And what you're seeing as far as justification for what's going on today, it starts back then when they, you know, you're going to hear people tonight. They're going to be asked, will killing Palestinians prevent future terrorism? Well, let me ask you, did chasing those kids with tanks and shooting at them back then prevent them from growing up and participating in things like Hamas today? So without further ado, let's go through the rest of the, the media in this block, and then we'll come back and comment. Picture this. 
You live in a besieged territory under occupation. You're hungry. Soldiers at the border won't let anything in or out unless they're forced to, and that includes food. You also live under the constant threat of violence. Schools, hospitals, places many of us take for granted are underfunded or have been destroyed. Electricity and fuel are restricted by your closest neighbors. Often, there isn't any at all. And unless you have exactly the right documents, you can't hope to leave.